So as we're taking a look at what is happening in Ukraine, we're also having a very close look at so, you know, what else is Russia doing in the world. And as we look at the north and our you know, relatively low population density up there, it's not inconceivable that uh, our sovereignty may be challenged. Russia has reoccupied uh, formerly abandoned Cold War bases. Uh, they have instituted their own A2AD strategy uh, that in some cases is based on what China has done in the South China Sea. Um, so they have already gone there. You know, what lessons can we learn from how they have um, put capabilities into the North? The, the Crimean experience would be a lot harder to duplicate, but not impossible. Uh, what can we do if a bunch of little green men turn up and decide they want to occupy Alert or Ikaluit or something like that and put up a flag? So I guess let me start off by saying that the, the threat of that right now is very low. That's not to say it wouldn't change in the decades uh, in the future. We, it, we don't know. I guess one of the expressions of sovereignty is being able to project force to the extremities of your country and, and exercise that on a regular basis. That has deterrence of its own. And it changes the decision calculus of anyone who may try to put little green men on, on, on one of our, our islands up there. You know, let's, let's face it, the, the climate will be more of a threat than the little green men. And then finally, being able to address the little green men uh, once you're up there. So answering those questions with any of our capabilities uh, is going to be important.